Hey guys and welcome back to some more F1 on the channel. This is F1 2019, uh, the 10th or I guess 11th um, F1 game made by Codemasters. Obviously they made F1 2009 on the Wii and then F1 2010 to uh, 2019 so far. So very much looking forward to, to getting into this. This is the Legends edition of the game I did. Uh, paid after the three days early access, although I didn't get to play it yesterday. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this video out tonight. But um, yeah, uh, thank you for all the support on F1 2018, and we'll be doing a similar sort of thing this year. I uh, think I will be starting my main career at Williams, uh, but I don't know how the whole career mode works. So I, I, I believe you start in F2. I'm going to find out with you guys because I have not played any uh, or seen any of the game, I should say. And uh, this is my first thing. I have went ahead and, and made my avatar and stuff. Uh, so I'll just quickly show you him now. There he is. Pretty much the same stuff as in previous years. Although this year you can uh, sort of customise your suit for online races and, and your gloves. This is the, the Prost uh, stuff that you get in the... Uh, Legends edition. So, yeah, let's get into the career mode and see what it's all about. In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. Very cool. Didn't know that was going to happen, to be perfectly honest with you. There we go. So, we can, uh, we can actually skip the feeder series, but I think... Uh, I want to actually get involved with it. So, uh, obviously, you can pick any of the F2 teams from the 2018 season. Uh, and they will be adding the F1 2019 stuff later down the line. Uh, F2 2019, I should say. Uh, later down the line in a free patch. So, uh, oh, Gary Horner. I thought that said Jerry Horner. I was going to say Jerry. Uh, the Spice Girl Jerry Horner does not own... Or um, owner F2 team. <laughs> but um, what are we going to go for? Uh, ART are, are pretty good uh, from what I'm aware. Carl and R as well. I don't watch any F2, uh, but those are two teams I've definitely heard of. So uh, we'll have a little uh, flick through. Uh, none of them seem to have any sort of information about them. So I, I think I'm just going to go for ART and... And we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we've got the Mercedes Driver uh, Academy, which we drove with Mercedes last year. I don't think we want to do that again. Yes, I want to drive for Williams first off, but I'm sure that we'll be able to do that in a contract negotiation anyway, especially with Williams being the weakest on the grid this year. Uh, the Ferrari Driver Academy is very tempting to me. Uh, obviously, we did... Uh, Mercedes uh, last year and the year before that we did Renault and we've done McLaren and, and stuff like that uh, before. Red Bull uh, we did in F1 2017 and it's not really a route I'm very interested in going down the Red Bull route. Uh, Renault of course not really uh, bothered about that uh, because we did it a couple of years ago. Uh, McLaren as well uh, not too bothered. I mean we can just go for no driver academy. To be fair, but I think that the, the one I want to go for is probably Ferrari. Um, or do I go for No Driver Academy and see what happens? I guess that's the real hardcore route of doing it. And then I guess we've got any options on the table. But that, it might be nice to go to Haas and, and, and Alfa Romeo and uh, Ferrari throughout this career mode because we've not done any of them. So let's let's pick the Ferrari Driver Academy and uh, start our career oh so we've got some uh, stuff to do here uh, so this is for F2 uh, I guess we'll just do one shot qualifying for, for F2 I think that should be good formation lap uh, well, so what's that that's 5 laps 25% I don't know how long F2 races are uh, AI driver level will stick it on what we had in, in F1 2018 uh, I think it was 95, I think. 
It might be. Uh, this might be. Let's go on 90. But I'll, I'll sort all this out and I'll see you guys in, in a second. Yep, so there you go. Uh, these are the assists that we will be using throughout the career mode. Um, you can see uh, medium traction, traction control is something I moved on to last year uh, from previously having full. We'll see how that uh, starts off. We've got corners only on that uh, and everything else is pretty much uh, off apart from the, the automatic gears of course. So let's get into the first session of the season and see what on earth is about to happen. Oh, it needs to do some loading. But we're in May 2018, event 3 of 12. Devin Butler and Lucas Weber in the third event of the 2018 Formula 2 Championship. A mechanical issue. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'll read that later, I guess. ART's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Oh. Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. Well, I wasn't expecting this. A sort of scenario mode start out of this season. Um, yeah, very interesting. Look at that, though. Wow, the brakes are different on this car. We might use a flashback for that, to be honest with you. Um, I think flashbacks are still on. Oh, I like that little screen there, but the, the car barely stopped. There we go. And we get a trophy as well for that. Oh, my goodness me. Your teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. Okay. Let him pass, because we, we've got... Uh, We've got problems anyway, but this is uh, this is weird driving this car after driving F1 2018. Thanks. I know it's frustrating, but you made the right call for the team. Now we're all with you. Just bring it home as best you can. Yeah, I'm uh, a little bit concerned about the um, the assists. I think we'll put that on full traction control for now. Until we get into it a bit, because the cars feel very, very different. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, you know whether we're meant to win this race. I don't know what objectives we have, anything like that. But at least it's around a, a track I'm fairly familiar at, uh, Barcelona, of course. I believe that the. the uh, F2 doesn't go to any unique tracks that F1 doesn't. Um, if any of you guys uh, you know I'm wrong, then let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. So, But yeah, very interesting start. The the sort of cinematic intro of the, uh, the, the race and into the scenario mode was cool. But yeah, team orders, letting uh, our, our teammate pass. I don't know whether that carries into the full game there I have heard there are full driver transfers in this game so Lewis Hamilton can move to say Ferrari and uh, Vettel can move to Williams or whatever uh, throughout the career mode and these rivals that we have this Weber and Butler or whatever I think it's the other guy I think they act as rivals throughout the career mode so be interesting to see how that works out uh, you know obviously this is the first year they've done anything like this. It's a bit like the journey in um, FIFA, I guess. But uh, for some reason, um, my look behind isn't mapped to the right button. So I can't actually see where those guys are behind. So, but yeah, they, they, these cars feel very, very different. I don't know whether it's just because it's F2. A lot less downforce, of course, in these cars. Um, 
or whether it's a new handled model or whatever. But yeah, awesome looking game. It, it, it is absolutely beautiful so far and I love the hood. I love the hood. Uh, obviously the official F1 time and screens and things like that. Very, very nice to see. Uh, onto the gravel, not ideal. We're going to be past once again. Might be able to make a move down the inside if we're lucky he's locked up. Yeah, just keep it nice and clean. And we're through. Yeah, I think the difficulty level's about right, you know, for so. Yeah. For the fact we've just jumped on the game for the first time and were at least competitive with the, the, the folks around us. Um, you know, suggests to me that we, we've got it about right. So yeah, um, obviously there'll be highlights of these videos. I'll only show the action points. I thought for the first race so we would, uh, at the very least sort of stay with the action and uh, talk you through it but there are different camera angles as in any other F1 game as well yeah, these really do lack in downforce you got that camera angle you got the this one which I'd be interested to see the the usages of everything you know I would imagine most people either use cockpit or um, sort of TV pod camera angles so yeah I'm just lock it up every single corner I use a pad by the way I know a lot of people ask uh, whether I use pad or wheel and I'm also on the PS4 Pro um, so yeah that sort of answers that I will be doing hopefully daily content on this game for at least the first season I've sort of kept that up the last couple of years. Oh, for goodness sake. Just lost the traction out of that corner. Race winner, Devin Butler. Damn it. Right, let's not lose another one. So here we go. Around the final turn, and we're going to finish eighth. It's a really disappointing first race. Lots of lock ups. But, uh, hey ho. Finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. So another fantastic victory for Carlin today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what won them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to end. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Alessio Lorandi. Very clean, very smooth. He can be really pleased with that one. And now a look at the team standings. Carlin moved to the top of the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. I didn't know uh, Roberto Merry went back down in uh, F2 after F1. That's uh, that's cool. I don't know if he's still in it. Let's have a look at the standings then. So we are currently fifth. Goodness me. Uh, there's <coughs> no way we're going to uh, reach Butler in the, in the standings. But we might get the second. Who knows? Uh, we'll just have to see how things go in the standings. ART currently second. 
behind uh, Carlin. Sorry about me cold and cough, by the way. That isn't a regular feature in my videos. It just always seems to happen around game release dates. But hey, oh, let's uh, advance and we'll see what happens next in this career mode. Okay, so meet the press. F1 drivers receive a lot of media attention and how you deal with them. So it's, it's basically going to be uh, what happened last year with it. The fine art of diplomacy. Okay. Keep the press on side. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Great. Well, that's everything. The cameraman looked like Chris the Engineer from uh, F1 2017, sort of backwards. Obviously, they changed uh, to an Australian guy last year, so he's now been demoted to cameraman. Hey, look. I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'd describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six make the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm. And remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. Fair enough. Oh, so there you go. You've got some more uh, things there. The sixth event was a low point for Joe Hannard when an aggressive move from oh, whatever. I mean, come on. There's no way you're reading that. <laughs> In that. rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Still in this race. Well, annoyingly, we weren't in control of any of that, so. Were we back down to 11th? Unbelievable. We have got the fastest lap, though. Now, Austria, a track that I've traditionally been pretty good at. Push on, you can still catch him, you can still beat him. 
so he's got a penalty of some sort. We don't know what penalty, but uh, he has got a penalty. Right then, let's go after the leader. This one I'm not going to show in full, so I'll see you when there's any sort of action. Devin is coming in for a stop. Devin well, here we come then. Right coming up behind Gunther now. Going around the outside. It's not taking a wide line. Not really bothered about that. We are much faster than him. So, we are pushing after Devin Butler, our big rival, who has come back out in eighth place after presumably a drive through penalty of some sort. Um, unfortunately, though, it doesn't seem that we are able to move up the fuel mix or anything like that. So maybe that's Jeff telling us that we haven't quite got enough on these tyres to keep going at this pace for the rest of the race. We pulls the fastest lap, I think, in that last uh, in that last one. So we are the fastest guy out there at the moment. Whether we can catch Devon or not, I'm not sure. Well, we're on the final lap, and you can see just in front of the next car is Devon Butler. I just don't think we're going to find him. Uh, reach him, sorry. On track. Um, you know, we've pushed hard, but we just haven't quite got enough of a pace advantage over the AI to... To, to get there, but we have caught up, so it shows that the, the AI level is about right with our brand new tyres, we were able to to close in, I don't think we're going to finish ninth. we have got the fastest lap though, so we will get that extra point, but uh, it's a disappointing Grand Prix for us in the end, to have not come out with the victory, but there you go. Stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Brilliant stuff from Carlin today. What a superb victory. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. Absolutely, congratulations, Aaron Orderia. That was a spectacular race and a fantastic drive from our win. I think, though, that after the race, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Devon Butler regarding that collision. He's been very lucky today, in more than one way. Lucky to have walked away, lucky to have only received a penalty. It's a shame his rivals wasn't equally lucky. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stand. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Ah, it's got to be Roberto Meri. He really deserved this result today. It was a fantastic drive. On to the teams then. Carlin have extended their lead at the top of the standings. I don't think we're bothered about that. So, yeah. Uh... Frustrating, really, not to have quite caught up to Devon there and obviously having the collision on track. But hey ho. That must be incredibly disappointing. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? So, did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Great. 
Well, that's everything. Hey, Devon. Devon, stop. Not now, I'm busy. Hey, what are you doing out there? Seriously. I'm going to celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happened, okay? I took my penalty, but I kept it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing! I need to be able to every time I make a top move. You want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track, and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me, even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end, anyway. Chin up. I guess that's the problem with a with a game like this. We don't have any lines, so it's all the the story kind of comes from the other two people. But hey, oh, uh, it looks like a championship finale between the two of us. I wonder whether this will be a full weekend or not. If it if it will be, then I might end today's episode here and continue this next time out. And here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every we'll see. event in the Formula Two calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship. And one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. So here we go, championship finale. It will just be a full race. Okay, uh, this is it. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck. Okay, uh, so there's a few little uh, changes with the setup screen. Um, okay. Do we want a... We'll stick the tire pressures off like that. That'll do. Uh, I don't know how how many laps is it. Do we know? Does it say anywhere? Six. Okay. For some reason, I thought we jumped the start there. Yeah, lights out, away we go. I didn't know whether there was a formation lap. I thought we did put the formation lap on, but hey-ho, we're away. See, Butler on the track ahead of us. We do just need to finish ahead of him. Ooh. Oh, we're all right, just about. Made contact with our teammate now then. Can we get... Uh, him to move out the way? Is there a way to do that? Maybe not. Lucas is ahead of him. Because we got out of the way for him earlier. So I want him to get out of the way for me. Seems fair. the sixth so no need to panic just yet go 
down the inside, a little bit aggressive. But we're okay. So we've just got him right in front of us now. So an exciting start to this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I don't even know if it's called F. Uh, ah. We'll <laughs> we'll flashback that. That was uh, that was terrible. Me, me, me thumb fell off the analog stick. If you guys don't know, I accelerate break with the analog stick. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you call it a Grand Prix. Well, we're having a look down the inside of Butler there. Well, that was sort of a bit of a last minute move, but we were through. And we're ahead of our rival, Devin. I keep wanting to call him Devin Weston, but it's Devin Butler. Devin Weston, of course, is the, one of the, the main villains in uh, GTA 5. So, unless he's uh, all of a sudden got 30 years younger and now is a race driver. They're not the same guys. Yeah, we're struggling with straight line speed. I'm beginning to think we should have maybe put a little bit more thought into the setup. I'm gonna have a look down the inside of Albon. Half compatriot, because he is half British, I think, and half Thai. I think. At least British born. Can we win this last Grand Prix of the season? That is a huge lockup. Lockups seem very easy on this game. But it was weird, around Austria, the, the car felt brilliant. We're now back uh, to, I guess, more of a corner-based circuit. You need a bit more downforce around here. The car just feels a little bit rubbish. <laughs> but I guess it's uh, what the Williams is going to feel like all year, but hey-ho. Well, we're much closer this lap, and we have got a chance to maybe have a look down the inside. He's also broke quite late there. A bit of a shove through that corner for Markelov from us. Right behind them now. Can we have a little look into this corner coming up? Ooh, maybe not. Well, we've gone for it. Once again, we've gone wide. Just need to be a little bit less aggressive, I think. Certainly into that corner. I think everywhere else we're just about getting the grips with what's going on. But we're right behind Markelov going into this penultimate lap now. As Lucas Weber. Puts in the fastest lap of the race so far. With the DRS, amazingly enough, he's still picking up uh, DRS from De Vries, But you can see now that we are visibly closer. He takes the inside line. He locks up slightly, which causes us in turn to look up very slightly. All right behind him. I don't think he'll get DRS this time. He has, amazingly enough. He has, but surely he's not picking up the slipstream like we are. This has got to be our chance now. As we have a look down the inside, we're okay on the brakes. Not too bad. A little bit wide, but we're all right. We get through. And, you know, without getting a warning, I'll take that. So now we need to chase after De Vries. Okay, this hasn't been the cleanest race. I'm not claiming that it is. Still very much getting used to the game. So here we come then on to the final lap of the championship. This F2 championship that apparently we've been battling. <laughs> Although I would have liked to have perhaps done a bit more of it if that was an option. But I guess it's a nice short introduction to the rivalries that I think we're going to be seeing throughout the career board. So, you know, very much looking forward to, to getting into that next episode with whoever we side for. Well, as I said, I think it's going to be Williams at this point. 
but you guys can let me know down in the comments who you'd like me to go for and I'll certainly take your opinions on board yeah I don't think we're gonna catch De Vries on this uh, final lap of the Grand Prix might not be a Grand Prix race we'll call it probably just about go away with that as corner cutting bit of track extending there, I do apologise for that, but uh, these cars are very tough to drive. Right, let's see if we can get this corner right for once in this Grand Prix. Well, even then, we ran a little bit wide, so I think De Vries is going to win this, Grand, uh, this race. We're going to come second, so we're going to be on the podium at least, but we are going to win the F2 Championship, and what a star that is to our career on F1 2019. We come across the line, and there it is. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events, and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. That's a fantastic performance from Kramer. It hardly looked in doubt. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. He had it all. The arrival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head-to-head -head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today, the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. No donuts or anything like that from us. No nonsense like that. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. They did a great job at getting the most of the tires without losing pace. That's the tires. And the title is in the bag for ART after a long and hard-fought season. They've done astonishingly well this year, and the glory they'll be taking back home is fully deserved. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. It's weird. He says the same lines as David Croft. It's really weird. But anyway, we have won the championship. I will finish off this F2 story arc in this episode. I know it's probably been quite a long one, but hey-ho... Uh, and at the very start of next episode, we will choose who we will start our career mode with. So, let's go. First of all, congratulations. You must be thrilled. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? So that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? Well, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Great. Well, that's everything. So there you have it then. I think that might be completing the F1 uh, or F2 story arc for now. And obviously we'll go on and uh, 
hopefully see how um, how our F1 career will go. Definitely looking forward to, to seeing that and well, what's, what else is going to happen here? I have no idea. Um, here we go. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it will ever happen. Devin, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Hey, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. That's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. You too. You got your work out for you now that I'm gone. See, you're gonna have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're going to be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Hey, there you go, there's the trophy. Slight glimpse of it there. There you go, two months later. Ah... Uh, London agent's office. Your agent Emma has called you into the office to make a final decision about your future plans. So we'll do that in the next episode. Um, I'll pause it. As, ah, here we go. So I'll do this at the start of next episode. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily F1 2019 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.